Hello, welcome to the Handheld Computer Museum. I'm Kevin, and I'm going to take a look today at this Sound Design 8309. See if we can do a little cleanup. There's a sticker kind of residue that's up here at the top, and we have a side panel that has come loose. So there's the adhesive doesn't work on that anymore. Uh, and you can see there's a panel over here. So yeah, so we'll just see if we can do a little cleanup. We can think there's some some smooges kind of on the screen too. I'm not sure if those are again scratches or or actual problems, but yeah, let's see if we can reattach that panel and make it happen. All right. So first, I'm just going to get the some isopropyl alcohol, and we'll just do a little bit of soaking of that sticker to see if we can make it go away. Certainly have acetone and things like that that we could use, but I don't want to hit it with really strong stuff just yet. So I'll let that soak for a minute. I'm going to see if any of this adhesive on the side will come loose with uh, some of this alcohol. Doubt it. This calculator is not new by any means. Decades and decades old, so I'm not sure what that adhesive is going to do. But um, get a paper towel and see if we can make any headway rubbing that off. If not, I was just going to glue kind of on top of this glue. Um, yeah, I'm getting a little bit of, you know, a little bit off, but really not much. I'll just clean it instead and get any kind of residue off of here that we don't want when we glue it. I'll do the back side of the panel too, just to make sure. We don't cause any problems, because we definitely don't want to cause any more problems by getting oils and things like that in there. So, so that's a little bit better. Let's see how this is doing up here at the top. Oh yeah, that's coming off. Great. I need to soak it a couple more times to see, but a little gentle scrubbing. With a little bit of alcohol and paper towel seems to have done it. So that's gone. Yeah. Better already. Great. Otherwise, if you head over to our Instagram channel, you'll be able to see the photos that I'm going to take of this beautiful, beautiful calculator. Um, but right now, I just want to just want to tidy it up a little bit, and make it more presentable for when I do take some some greater photos of it. So I'll probably get in, probably get into all these nooks and crannies with the cotton swabs, just because they're a little more rigid, a little easier to get into all these little nooks and crannies. I always, always try to remember to put the lid on so the alcohol in the bottle doesn't evaporate. We'll kind of go through here. This is pretty clean. I don't really see any major issues, at least on the exterior of it being too crusted or anything like that with fingerprints or anything, but we'll just get in here a little bit and Give these a bit of a clean. Yeah, these are these are in really good shape. They're really not bad at all. corners of the screen to see if there's anything in there, but I don't think there's much. It's really, really kind of lovely. Yeah, there's a little bit in this corner. Let's see if I can get these out of here. There we go. There we go. That's pretty good. And of course, now I want to wipe down the area that I already 
cleaned uh, under this panel because I don't know, wasn't paying attention to see if my fingers got all over it. Added oils to it. All right. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'll probably do another little, get a microfiber cloth before I take photos of it, but any gunk that was in there is certainly, certainly gone. Don't know if you can see that on the tip here. Not too much. Not too bad. I'm guessing in future cleanings, I will find far, far, far dirtier devices um, in my collection. Yeah, trying to be gentle around, especially a lot of these older stickers that are on the side here. Because I just don't want to take those off inadvertently. I think I just put a big fingerprint on the screen. Yep. Cool. So let's get the glue to see if we can attach that, that side panel. The thing I want to avoid is any squeeze out, so I'm just going to put a couple, get this off of here. Put the glue right in the middle. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Make sure it's kind of lined up. It's pretty good on hole. So I'll hold this down for just a minute so that hopefully we're gonna be in good shape and not have it pop loose. I may have to put something on it, some weight, so that it holds while we let it cure. Yeah, it's super close. Um, hmm. Don't think I have any rubber bands handy. That would have been kind of good, but also the rubber might be kind of a problem anyway. Um, yeah, you know, I've got a couple clamps, so I'm just going to clamp it. And that will work pretty well. I'm not going to apply really any pressure with the clamp. I'm just going to kind of gently get it on here so that it's not going to come loose. So that glue has a, has some time to actually hold. There we go. Real gentle. Do not want to cause any problems here. Got another one. For the other end, again, super light pressure. Do not want to squeeze the jaws of life in it. There we go. Right. All right, there we go. So that seems like it's holding there. Cool. While I'm doing that, I figure I could turn it on for you so you can see what this thing looks like. Let me zoom in. Yeah, it's a gorgeous calculator. If you can hear the sound of these buttons, check this out. All right, again, check out our Instagram channel to see the final photos. Thanks so much, take care.